Hello students, in last class we have started new chapter forest or lifeline and in this chapter in last class we have completed up to effects of deforestation and in effects of deforestation we have studied effect on soil, changes in recycling of material, climatic changes, landslide and earth, deep desertification etc. These all effects are happen because of deforestation. Today class in today's class we are going to start new topic and that is food chain. And food chain is defined as the chain of organism which involves transfer of energy from one trophic level to next trophic level is called as food chain. So we can say the chain of Organism which involves transfer of energy from one trophic level to another trophic level. The transfer of energy from one trophic level to the trophic level to the next trophic level called as food chain, in which transfer of energy is occurred in a series from one trophic level, which can be uh, plants, which can be plants, animals, etc., to another trophic level, and they can be only animals, they can be herbivores and carnivores. So we can say the chain of organism which involves transfer of energy from one trophic level to another trophic level called as food chain. Now what is trophic level? Those organisms which join with the food chain are termed as trophic level. So we can say organism which join with the food chain Called as trophic level. For example, in a food chain, there can be four to five kind of trophic levels are present. For example, first trophic level, which we can denote first trophic level by T1. And that is in a food chain, first trophic level is formed by only plants. Next trophic level denoted by T2, and in food chain, this trophic level is formed by only herbivores animals. If we talk about next trophic level that is T3 and in food chain this trophic level is formed by carnivores animals. And next and last trophic level is T4 formed by decomposers. So we can say decomposers like fungi or bacteria. So these are trophic level present in, in a food chain. Plants are in food chain called as producers. They are called as producers because they produce energy in a food chain. They are a main source of energy in a food chain and because they synthesize food by photosynthesis and for photosynthesis, they obtain energy from sun. So, main source of food chain, main source of energy in food chain is sun. And uh, food synthesized in a food chain by plants. So, they are called as producers. Next, trophic level T2 and T3. Both are called as consumers. And 
P4 trophic level they are called as decomposers because they decomposed the dead and decay material and consumer herbivores and carnivores animals called as consumers because they obtain energy from from producer they consume energy from producer so they are called as consumers so it is all about trophic level in a food chain now example of a food chain in which first example plants plants is uh, we can say plants are formed first trophic level and they are producer and after plants next trophic level is consumers and the consumers are those and we can say it is a second trophic level and uh, second trophic level are those animals who live or who feed on only plants so they are herbivores animals so we can say for example from plant energy obtained by rat now on rat snake next trophic level is snake and after snake next trophic level we can say so one example of food chain next example of food chain vegetation or we can say plants eaten by frog which is eaten by snake and snake by peacock so they are the example of food chain next topic after food chain is food web now in nature we can say the food chain are not isolated sequences but are rather interconnected with one another so they are not isolated they are not separated to each other but they are interconnected to each other so we can say food web defined as a network of food chain which are interconnected at various trophic levels called as food web. So we can say because of food web there is a formation of number of feeding connection among us different organism of biotic community is called as food for example we can say it's a first food chain in which plants which are eaten by rabbit and rabbit by hawk it is a example of our first food chain in a food web next now this one is a second food chain now this one is a third food chain and this food chain food chain interconnected to second food chain plants eaten by grasshopper and grasshopper by frog and frog again by snake it's an example of fourth food chain now next food chain in which plants which are eaten by grasshopper and grasshopper direct eaten by hawk so it is again an interconnection between second and fourth food chain 
we we'll talk about number fifth food chain. So plants eaten by seed eating bird. And seed eating bird again by hawk. It's again interconnection between two. So it is a network like structure, and this network like structure called as. So it is an example of food. If in a um, uh, in a food we can say ecosystem food web would be complex in how much amount the ecosystem would be more stable in that condition. If food web of a ecosystem would be more complex then in that condition ecosystem would be more stable now it is all about food chain and food web now next topic is conservation of forest which we will discuss in next class